Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A14 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So now starting off, let's open up our settings and from here we're gonna navigate to display. And here we have a couple of things like dark mode. So by default you can actually change the dark and light mode throughout the setup of the phone, but later on uh, when you go into the settings apart from you being able to switch it and here you also have this option right here dark mode settings which will allow you to select it as a schedule so it will switch between light and dark mode based on either sunset to sunrise or custom schedule so you can set it to exactly switch at specific hour now moving on to the next option is the full screen display it should be or full screen apps more precisely now i don't have any apps installed uh, apart from the ones that come with the device so it's not nothing in here uh, but there are some apps that will not use the entirety of your display now when you see any kind of app that just cuts out the status bar it doesn't show anything in it but it just cuts it out you can go in here and add this app to basically be displaying in full screen i'm just gonna maybe demonstrate it quickly let me just quickly look for it so one of these apps i know for certain is the steam link now i already have it selected so it automatically fills never mind it doesn't fill the entire screen so you can see it also cuts it out right here so i could add such an app to it and let me just quickly navigate into the settings So right here, it's basically the same thing. It shows me a couple apps. So I can, here I would basically have to, I think, top right here and look for, or for some reason doesn't give me the app, which isn't ideal. Let's see if I can find it. For some reason, I can't really find it in here. Now, I'm gonna look also, because I'm just trying to do this on my phone right here. I'm gonna look in the actual app itself. So it seems like I cannot make this app be full screen. So I'm not exactly sure why, maybe just needs an update or whatever but i tested this specific feature on other devices like realme and it does work once you can actually add the app and what it will do is just kind of ignore that cutout and the screen will be extended obviously to fit full screen kind of like youtube would act uh, so it's just a nice thing to have i would say to use more of your screen when you can now anyway, moving on to the next option, it's going to be the gesture navigation, which you can find also under the display navigation bar right over here. And you have the swipe gestures, you can enable that and it will remove the buttons from the bottom and substitute them for this bar. Now there's also another option uh, to hide this bar completely so it's not showing by selecting or turning this option off, so uh, gesture hints. And as you can see it removes it. Now. I'll be honest, um, you might experience some problems by doing this because uh, the stupid uh, way that Samsung did this is not by making it transparent, by reducing the opacity of it like a logical uh, manufacturer or just anybody should do. No, they just decided to completely shift it below, off the screen, in the dumbest possible effing way. Now, I'm mentioning this it, because it will actually cause you probably some problems later on. I have encountered this with a third-party launcher, it just starts to work like absolute trash. So sometimes when you try to swipe up, uh, it won't access the, uh, or it won't actually use the gesture. So you'll have problems by swiping up, uh, where on my case with a third-party launcher, I sometimes needed to swipe up four times, every time it should have worked without a shred of a doubt, but it didn't because it shifts it off the screen and for some reason gets stupid dumb uh, when you're trying to go home and it just doesn't recognize the gesture for some stupid reason. So if you see this kind of problem, if you experience it, uh, you will unfortunately need to re-enable the gesture hints 
uh, this will then solve your problem for the most part. Now this only also applies to like swiping up. Uh, so swipe up and hold and just swipe up. Uh, the back gestures from either side still work flawlessly. So that shouldn't be a problem. Now, anyway, let's move over to the next option, which will be the side key. Now, as you probably know, if you hold the side key by default, it will bring this uh, or bring the Bixby. Uh, but you have actually a couple options for it, literally couple as in two. So you can tap right here if this shows up for you to go to side key settings. But if it's opening up Bixby instead, you will just navigate into your settings. And from there, you'd go to advanced features, not labs, uh, side key, there we go. And you have, excuse me. I guess we don't have options for it, which is a little bit odd. So we don't have Bixby here at all. Okay. Uh, so by default, you'd normally have the option to actually, let me just kind of showcase this. So if I hold my button, I'm going to side key settings. You can see I have uh, press and hold options, which I guess they removed here. Uh, kind of odd, but okay. Anyway, uh, so last thing that I'm going to show you uh, would be the motion and gestures. So it's right below. And here you have a bunch of gestures and motions that you can activate or deactivate. Some of them will be enabled. So for instance, uh, turn over to mute as enabled. I think these are all the default settings. So if you want to change some of them, simply toggle them on if something fits your well, preferences. So to go over a couple of them, we have lift to wake. So when you pick up your phone, it will automatically light up the screen. Uh, double tap to turn on the screen, which is usually on on most of Samsung's. For some reason here it's off. And we also have the double tap to turn off the screen. Uh, now I personally don't like it, so I'm just gonna keep that off. And then we have also alert when phone picked up. Ah, so that's actually a neat option. Never actually looked at this one before. So uh, what it basically does is when you enable it, if you pick up your phone, it will automatically vibrate if you have missed some kind of call or messages. So it's basically if you have notification, it will vibrate on pickup. Just a neat little feature. So there we go. And now with, for instance, these two enabled, I can do this and it locks the device. And with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.